Is your amplifier running way too hot? Welcome to another episode of the Gapster channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about amplifiers that are running too hot. Often there are class A, class AB amplifiers and they do run hot, but there's a limit of how hot they should be and sometimes it's a bit too much. Uh, basically what you want to avoid is once you start exceeding temperatures of say 65 degrees Celsius or 150 Fahrenheit, you're starting to inch into pretty hot territories and if the capacitors are not rated at very high temperatures they will fail prematurely often shortly after the warranty is over and now you get a useless piece of metal and try to repairing it will cost a fortune. Uh, very often those amplifiers are not cheap to begin with and you really want to uh, take care of your investment on not having uh, go bad too soon. This amplifier failed uh, because of that same problem. It was running too hot. Uh, and if you look at the construction of it, it's uh, so they have the uh, heat sinks all around the uh, boards. And uh, so basically all the circuitry is encapsulated within the heat itself. So they are running really, really hot. And uh, I measured and they're going somewhere between like s way more than 65 degrees Celsius, uh, which is 150 Fahrenheit, sometimes even quite far above that, dangerously too, uh, too hot. And no wonder why they, uh, uh, the amplifier failed. Not only just it failed, when I checked the capacitors, I had to replace about 40 capacitors and these are the failed ones. I end up replacing actually about 60 of them because I decided to replace just every all these little uh, surface mount capacitors. They all had to be replaced. They were, every one of them was bad. Uh, especially the one that there's two boards in this case. The one that are in the lower board are even hotter. These ones completely all completely all burnt were defective. And the top ones had a bit more Air, there was only half of them defective. This happens a lot with uh, class A and class AB amplifiers, so make sure if you have an amplifier that's running uh, hot, uh, first make, I would measure the temperature, there's the various devices you can measure the temperature inside, uh, a lot of them little laser pointer temperatures thing, you can do that way. Simply just put your hand on it, you can tell roughly how hot it is. If you can't put your hand on it and it's becoming to be a little too hot to hold and definitely you're, you're, you're too hot. Uh, so yeah, so what you would want to do is uh, make sure you don't stack components really on top of each other. So you need to have proper ventilation. So when uh, this is actually closed, and they did put a lot of holes, which is nice, but still not hot, not enough to keep it cool. And uh, so you want to make sure that this, this should be at least a few inches here before you put another component on it. And just bear in mind that whatever you put on top of it, that's also going to get hot from this one. So you want to make sure you want to, don't want to heat one with the other. Uh, so you need ample ventilation. It shouldn't be in a, in a very closed kind of chamber because that's going to even make it hotter. So the more space you can give them, the better. Uh, this is one. Uh, if the temperatures are really hot, then you have to do something about it. Your amplifier will fail. It's just a matter of time. And uh, a very simple method of doing it. And uh, please don't freak out. I know your uh, you're first thing you're going to say, oh no, we're not putting any noise be beside the amplifier. But uh, just bear with me a little bit because this system is silent. And I mean it's silent. Uh, what you want to do is you want to put a couple, of, uh, one or two fans, uh, depends how big your amplifier, most of them are fairly standard size and if you have, uh, depend where the holes are and where you can put the, uh, the ventilation, but you want the ventilation to be in a way where it can take the heat out, so that you want the air to go from inside and come out uh, from the outside. And uh, for that you need a couple fans. The bigger the fans, the less noisy they are and the better they are. 
The other most important thing is you want to run those fans at the least amount of power possible. So these are rated at 12 volt. I'm running them around 6 volt and also I have a controller which also reduces uh, the speed of the uh, fans on top of that. So these guys are going to run at very, very slow uh, speeds. And uh, I also have a little controller that I picked up from eBay. I'll link the description below. And it's uh, thermal uh, activated. And so basically the hotter your amplifier goes, the faster the fans will turn. But keep in mind, even when they're going at the maximum speed, at 6 volt, it's barely noticeable. You will not hear it because they're running very, very slow. And this is the trick. Also, quality fans, these are Noctua fans, they're known for their uh, really low noise. And the trick is every fan is noisy, it doesn't matter who makes it. But when you run it at very, very low speed, it's silent. You will not hear it. Here they are, they're uh, running right now and uh, I can't hear a thing to be honest with you and my hearing isn't that bad. Um, what uh, you need to know a little bit about the fan controller, it's sold quite, uh, you can find it a lot on eBay and Amazon, it's very popular. <laughs> the sad thing is there is nowhere instructions about how to use it. The instruction that comes with is completely useless. And, and uh, it took me a while, trial and error, and watching, uh, looking around, and seeing how how it goes to figure out a few things. And I'll I'll go through that uh, briefly with you. Oh, maybe one day I'll make a video about more detailed about this board. But I'm just going to give you a little quick uh, instruction on how to run the board to keep your life simple and easy. Okay, the first limitation about the, uh, uh, the little controller, it, it has three fans. So you'd think, okay, I can hook up two fans easy. Well, no. Uh, there's fan one, two, and three. Only fan one can be controlled by the thermocouple here. So fan two and fan three cannot be controlled by the, by the heat sensor. Only fan one. So your best bet is to put a Y connector on fan one to control two fan and that's what I did. I have a Y connector and that controls the two fan. Um, fan two and fan three are only controlled by the little potentiometer here. So you can adjust their speed by adjusting uh, that, but it's a constant. It's not related to the heat sensor. So I connect mine to number one and then comes the dip switches. These dip switches only relate mostly to fan 1. They do not control much about fan 2 and 3, except some features about the uh, alarm. There's a little buzzer you can use if, it, if it's the fan stalled or something, which I'm not using in here. But, uh, but they do relate to fan 1 mostly, uh, especially the dip switch number 1. If you have it on off like I do, it will be running at 20% if it's not too hot. And if you put on on run at 40%, in my case, I have it put set on off. And uh, so they're running at 20%. And remember, this is 20% of 12 volt. I'm supplying them with 6 volt. So basically, they're running roughly, I would say 10%, no one knows, but they're pretty very slow speeds. And uh, we're just trying to keep them quiet. You know, you really do not want fans in your... Uh, audio room and uh, so yeah so if you want to keep your life simple keep all the dip switches off connect your two fans via Y splitter on fan header number one and that should get you going quick and easy without spending hours trying to figure out how to make this board work and uh, as for the heat sensor uh, pretty much it's easy in my case you just probably dip it in here and something like that, find a hole that works and that's going to sense the temperature inside the unit and it's going to adjust the, the speed uh, of the fans. The fastest the fans are going to run would be at 50% speed, that's if it gets super hot. Uh, I haven't reached those temperatures, it actually is running at 20% which is like 10% like I said, seems to 
keep the temperatures way cooler. Remember the idea is not to, you know, you're not trying to make this thing ice cold. You just want to make it a little less hot. Instead of being an inferno in there, it's hot, but it's not cooking. Hopefully that helps uh, mystif demystify the uh, settings on this board and makes, makes life easier for you. The secret is big fans. So you'd rather have bigger fans running really slow than smaller fans running really fast. And if you follow those rules, you'll not hear the fans whatsoever. Your amplifier will stay cool and you will save your amplifier from burning and over thousand dollar bill if not even more i hope that helps and uh, i'll put some links uh, down below please uh, subscribe i'm going to be putting uh, quite a few more videos up and uh, give me some thumbs up if you can uh, hopefully you enjoy it take care